Rahul is searching web for saving avenues. He stumbles upon a systematic investment plan, SIP, but he's not really sure. Financial advisor explains him how SIP works. Let us assume that Rahul invests in fund at price of rupees 10. If he invests rupees 1000, he get 100 units. As the price goes up, the units he receives will fall. But if the price falls, he will get more units. If Rahul does this for 12 months and the prices have been fluctuating, he can accumulate 1641 units and his investment becomes rupees 19,691. Assuming the prices keep going up, the SIP units that Rahul accumulates will decrease and the value of his rupees 12,000 will become rupees 17,144 because all units are valued at higher price on the date. On the other hand, if the prices go down and then recovers, he will get a return of rupees 17,413 for his investment of rupees 12,000. Rahul says, what if the market goes down continuously and I keep getting higher units but all units will be valued at lower price, then I will be losing. The advisor explains that the historical BSE or NSE indices has never gone down continuously over a long period of 10 to 15 years. Market fluctuations are possible. The upward movement of BSE or NSE indices are reflection of gross domestic product GDP growth. The stock market growth indicates GDP growth and GDP growth can go up or down but it can never keep going down continuously over a long period of say 10 to 15 years. Rahul realizes that SIP is a tool which takes benefit of market volatility or variation and SIP never fails you.